Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Freeby. I work at Northwest Private Hospital in Brisbane, and I've delivered more than 4,000 babies over the past 20 years. I believe it is my role to provide information to my patients around all aspects of their pregnancy and really get them involved in decisions that will directly impact them and their growing family. One of the areas I like to discuss with my patients is the option of cord blood and tissue banking. I believe it's really important that they should have access to information on the topic so they can make an educated and informed choice. When the umbilical cord is clamped and cut after the baby's birth, the blood that's left in the umbilical cord and placenta is called cord blood. Cord blood is rich in powerful stem cells. Stem cells can be used for over 80 medical treatments and there is a significant amount of global research happening which would anticipate an increase in the number of approved uses in the future. Importantly, the only time you can collect these stem cells is at the time of birth and that's why it deserves such careful consideration. We know at this point in time, there have been over 40,000 transplants worldwide. Back in 2012, there are only 33 known indications for use. And now, if we fast forward, it has been used for over 80 different types of medical conditions, whether it is certain cancers, blood or genetic disorders, and some tumours. Down the road, the future possibilities are really endless due to the amount of research that's going on. This research includes things like autism, cerebral palsy, type 1 diabetes and stroke. The list goes on and on. When collecting cord blood, you can also opt for the collection and storage of umbilical cord tissue, which is simply a segment of the umbilical cord itself. Cord tissue contains different types of cells to cord blood that support the regeneration of bone, cartilage, soft tissue and smooth muscle. Research in this area, I think, is really exciting looking at helping with the treatment of things like spinal cord injury and stroke. The collection process is really easy and seamless. Once the mum and baby are together, usually on mum's tummy or chest, without mum, baby or the partner being aware, we will collect the cord blood, which usually takes just a few minutes to do. This doesn't interfere at all with the bonding process. So basically, the two options that every pregnant couple has is whether they want to store this blood and tissue for their own potential personal use, where they would have control over whether it's used for their child or potentially a sibling if it's compatible. The second option really is that of just being treated as medical waste, so it's just not used at all. It's totally discarded and any potential for benefit to anyone has been lost. If you have your samples stored for you and your family, you can make future decisions should the medical need ever arise. We know in Australia and New Zealand, there are over 850 people a year looking for a match for a stem cell transplant. Given our multicultural society and diverse ethnic backgrounds, this makes finding a perfect HLA match very, very difficult. The probability of finding a match if you have your own stem cells stored removes one of the barriers. From my perspective, people store hoping that they'll never need to use it, but have the peace of mind knowing it's available. Cellcare is Australia's only private cord blood and tissue bank and one of the top 10 cord blood banks in the world. If you ever need access to your sample, Cellcare will immediately release it to the treating hospital anywhere in the world at no cost to you. The storage laboratory is state of the art and you can do a virtual tour of this facility on their website. Thank you for listening and please contact Cellcare or your obstetrician if you'd like more information on the topic.